Welcome to whatever this channel is called. I'm Dan and I love painting minis. So I'm trying to get better with an undisclosed amount of effort and I thought it'd be incredibly embarrassing to show you some of my failed attempts at miniatures and to see how I've progressed over the time that I've been doing it and how bad I really am. The plan here being that when I'm a mini painting god I can look back and have a big old laugh at myself like you're about to. I've been very on and off with this hobby, so I'm afraid I can't really give you a timeline as to how long it's been. Now, maybe through some miracles, some new painters will find this hopeful because you will see progression and any experienced painters have a laugh. So let's start with some of my earlier miniatures before I lose them. Sadly, these aren't actually my first painted minis, but these are what I could find and they're certainly still embarrassing. Thick loops of paint, weird colour choices, uh, very messy finishes and crazy eyes. Now these are some of my more recent miniatures and I'm actually very happy and proud of them. I think that's a real important thing to say. I think with some hobbies, and I had a bit of a fear of it that I was not going to have any fun or think any of my miniatures were any good until I had mastered all of the techniques and could paint as well as the people I saw in the videos. But that's not true. Each time I had a jump in technique or had learned something new, I really liked that miniature. Now true, later on when you get better and you look back, it's not quite as impressive anymore. But it's important to know that you can feel positive and happy with the results as you are learning. It's also very cool to have old miniatures so that you can look back and see how much better you have got. You might look at it and think not just that it's not necessarily painted as well as you could, but you can see all of the different techniques that you would use now that you couldn't back then. Naturally, I want to get better at everything to do with miniature painting. So hopefully with painting more, just as a general skill level will rise. But if I had to pick three things, I'd really like to see a cleaner finish. So maybe smoother blends or spend a bit more time making sure the base coat is correctly put on. I have a tendency to have this kind of muddy looking finish. Some level of NMM, non-metallic metals. I know that this is a very difficult and high level technique to master. But I think having an element of it, a basic form of it, and better understanding of it can go a long way with learning lights and shades and blending and all sorts of things that can help with all other aspects of miniature painting. And a better understanding of colour theory. Some of my colour choices, to me, seem like they're a bit too bland or I've gone a bit too crazy. Um, so a better understanding of what works well, when I should use what, what maybe I should mix together to get better results. So there you go, you've seen some of my more and less embarrassing miniatures. I'm going to be making an awful lot of videos of painting miniatures, and I think having that level of knowing someone or some people, even if I have no idea who you are, and maybe there won't be any views, but the possibility that people can see these miniatures will hopefully make me put a bit more effort into them to get a bit of a better end result. So thank you for making me a better painter. Of course, if I don't become a better painter, I'll probably blame you as well. And that's all this video was really about. Thanks for watching it. I hope to see you in another video. But seriously, that's all I got for you.